greet you everybody now it is time for presenting or teaching the students which are in the holiday but they must flow their reason on TV. So now welcome to Risedo Rohango Ichirezi, Emeru Inuari. My name is Nzizera Jean Paul. My telephone number is 078-348064. This time is for level three, masonry. As you see there, it is at KF level three, sector of construction, subsector masonry. It is now the time of the module called building setting out. I wish you to flow this session because it's very essential in your trade. Now, observe this picture in order to discover the topic of today. Here there is picture one and picture two. Observe well in order to discover the topic of today. Here there is a question to answer. What have you seen on the picture? That, this is the first question. What have you seen on the picture? The second, what are they do? On the picture, there was the pupil who doing or who making some process. What are they do? Can you guess the topic of today? Now, this is the topic of today. You see that we are on the model of building setting out competence of setup of a building. Uh, we are now on learning unity two called set profile. Learning outcome five, the market foundation pegs and line. And the topic one of method used in setting out a breeding. Now the topic of today, the topic of today is set out light angle using three, four, five method. Used in setting out a breeding on the site. Remember, when you are setting out a breeding, you know that to set out the building, before setting out the building, you must have a plan prepared by designer. So you need to put on the ground. So you will set those plan from the drawing or working drawing and put it on the ground. That process is called setting out the building. Now we are going to set out the building, but using three, four, five method as the method for setting a light angle. So we have the objective of this session. By the end of the session, the trainee should be able to. So it means at the end of this session, all trainees you should be able to first to know collectively equipment, material, and tools for setting out a light angle using the 345 method for the building setting out on the site. The second is explain collectively 
All steps involved in setting out the building on the site. The site is no collectory or procedure for setting out light angle using three, four, five method on the building site. So I wish every trainee or each trainee to cover this objective at the end of this session. Remember, our topic of today is to set out the building using the 345 method. Now, you can ask what is a 345 method. Remember, uh, 3, 4, 5. 3, 4, 5 method. There is another, the other methods used for setting a light angle for the building, but here we have 3, 4, 5 method. 3, 4, 5 method uh, is the method based on the Pythagoras theorem, a triangle. When you say Pythagoras theorem first, you must understand triangle. It means if the side has three, another has four, and the other has five, now remember here it is now a light angle. So now there is no matter of using a building square but you can use this measurement in order to have a light angle of your building. You set three at one side and the other side four. Then the grid side will give you five units. It means units. The units can be either meter, inch, or feet, or can be in metric or British system. So, if you use this method, you get a light angle of the building without using any other instrument. It is a matter of calculation for getting a light angle of the building. This method is very good. So, simply, this method is used to determine a certain for, uh, 90 degrees angle when setting out your building site. Basically, if you mark out a triangle that has side measuring three feet, as I have said, three and four, it will give you five at the grid left. Now you will have now here 90 degrees of a sage, light angle. So, uh, equipment, material, and tools used in setting out the building. Here there is equipment, material, tools used in setting out a building. As you see on the picture, you know that when you say, well, are going to set out the building, you must have several tools, material, and equipment, as you see there, building square, spirit level, pegs, tape measure, and so on. But when you set out the building, you will cover several steps. Here, there is a general step involved for setting out a building. The first step is establish the baseline. Establish the baseline. This is the key step for setting out the building. Either, as we will see, uh, the baseline must be taken in the direction of the road or the neighboring building. The second is set out light angle 
at the correct length and check the diagonal. You have to set out light angle at the correct length and check the diagonal. Then set up the profile board to allocate the width of the trench, foundation and the wall. On the profile board, you have also to put the width of the trench, width of the foundation and the width of the wall. Those are the essential elements that you must put on the profile board. So here, there is a detailed step for setting out the building. The first step, you remember, it is to set the baseline. The baseline is measured from the load. The baseline is often of the building line. On the building line, remember, the building line is set by the planner or planner department of the local authority. You don't have a permission to construct a uh, near the close to the road. So there is a planner which have the task for planning or making decision about the building line from the road, or sometimes called setback distance. Never build it in the front of the building line. Never build it in the front of the building line. You have to build it. Suppose here this is a load. So this is the distance called setback. Setback distance. Then this is now building line. The building line set by local local authority in order it is not permitted to build in front of the building line. You have to build there, not here. You see here, uh, the, it, it is usual for position of the building line to give a distance from either the center line of the road, either from the center line of the road, this setback distance may, may be from the center line of the road, the curb line, curb here, and existing building. If there is no, if there is no road, you must now make a setback distance from the existing building. Remember, the step one is set, set out the building line. You set out the building line. As you see there, the, the center line of the load curb, as I have said on this figure, it is the same. Then step two is set out the base or front edge line. You set the base or the front edge line. On the building line, this is the building line, you may set the front, front of your building. Front of your building. This is a front. Sometimes your, your front view must be in front of the road. So this is now called frontage line. The step three is after setting frontage line, as so I show you there, now you have set out the first light angle to the frontage line. You have to set the uh, light angle to the frontage line. So it means you have to set light angle. It means perpendicular line using a string or building line. So you must set here a light angle. 
light angle 90 degree. So, the third step, no, the fourth step is set out the second light angle to the front edge line. You need now also to set the second. Suppose you have the front, front face of your building 80 meter. You measure from the peg here, 8 meter here, and then set now the second light angle. This can be A and B or A, B. So no problem. It depends on it. You are right and left. And then the fifth step is set out final back line. Remember, in the drawing we have seen about front view and the back view and the side is view. So the front view now has been set. And the side view has been set. Now you need to set the back. So now if your house is 8 meter, 6 meter, now 8, 6, 6, now 8, 6, 6. But this line may be greater than 6 in order to set another peg for back, back line. So then you measure from here 6. From here up to here, six. You, then you drive a peg. And here up to here, six. Then you drive a peg. And then you, you, you stretch your, your string or your building line. Then you have now a light or a rectangular, a rectangular shape of your building. You have now the step six to check the building set out for the square. You can have, you see this is a rectangular, but not have a light angle because you, 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 da, you, you didn't use a good manner or good process for setting a light angle. Now you have to check the building setting out for the square because you can have a parallelogram shape instead of rectangle shape. So you have to check the diagonal, the diagonal of, of your shape. This diagonal must be equal in order to eliminate the parallelogram shape. After checking the diagonal, you have to proceed to step seven called setup profile and attach ranging line. This is uh, a good step because we will help you in excavation, also will help you in foundation, also in wall elevation. This is a good step which must be done well in order to have accurate measurement for your building. You see there on the profile board, you must put width of the wall, width of the foundation, and also you can put the width of the trench if necessary. As you see there, this is the single profile board and the uh, compound profile board or composite. Now, because you can, because you can uh, set out a building using several methods, now it is necessary to mention where the method that you are going to use. Because there is several methods, as we have said, but Today, remember, we need to proceed the 345 method. Remember, on this, in the 345 method, 
you have to proceed to measure here, like here, made unit four, four unit, and here, three unit. And now check if here there is a five unit. Now, if you get five here unit, it is now a light angle. Now, we need now to proceed with this three, four, five method in order to have a good rectangular shape of our building. First, mark out the baseline from the road. Remember, you have to mark out the baseline from the road. By measuring the required distance, as I have said in the first process, And then you have after you have to mark a frontage line to measure the frontage line. So have you read there? You have to pull peg A and D in order to have a light angle. Now, let's see this figure, which show you how to proceed with uh, 3, 4, 5 method. You see that you have to put 4 and 3 in order to have 5. It comes from Pythagoras theorem, which says that A square equal to B square plus C square which will give that A, this is A, B, and C. Then A, it is now 5 square, plus, equal to B square, B is equal to what? B is equal to 3, plus C square, C is equal to 4 square, and then 25 must be equal to, 9 plus 16, which will give now 25 equal to 25. Now, this is true. This will give that it is a, a light angle. This Pythagoras theorem, it is very essential to set out the building or to check where the diagonal of your building or lower light angle. So, for the next, we will see another method that we can use in order to set out the building. Remember, today we have seen the method called the 3, 4, 5 method. Then, for the next, we will see build a square method and setting the profile board. Remember, for excavation, for foundation, for wall, in order to set or to construct our building. So, this is the end of our session. Thank you for your kindly attention. Let now go to the practice. Uh, welcome again. So now we are going in practice of breeding set out. Remember, the topic of today is lighting three, four, five uh, method. Here there is several tools, material and equipment used in a building setting out. This is panga or machet. Also is used to sharpen the pegs. This is pegs. We use panga to sharpen 
the pegs. Also we have hammer for nail. When we, we want to pull or to put nail, you can use this hammer. And also we have another type of hammer, sometimes called stone hammer, but this is used in the building setting out when you need to drive in here a peg in the ground. So we have also here the tape measure. There is different type of tape measure according to their length. This is 50 meter tape measure and this is 5 meter tape measure. This is used for measuring the distance. Also we have the material called the nail. And this is string or building line. Also, when I want to measure light angle, we use building square. This is used for measuring light angle. And we have also here spirit level. This spirit level also, you know that we use it in leveling verticality and the horizontality of your building. Also, in other method, when you, we measure or we set out the building using leveling instrument, you can use this leveling instrument. So, here we have what we call a type leveling stuff. And we have here tripod where we fit or we fix our instrument called the either throat right or dump level. We will see also. Uh, so I think it is enough when you need to set out your building, you must use these tools material and the equipment when you setting a uh, building. Setting out a light angle using three, four, five uh, method. Let's now start making a light angle or a building using three, four, five uh, method. Let's ask my colleague to come here and it help me to Major the building or to set out the building. Remember the first step when you are going to set out the building, you must consider the road, either the center line of the road or the curb of the road. Remember because we need to 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 set or to reserve the distance from the road to your building called the setback distance where we reach a building line. Those distance, remember, is, is, uh, is determined by local authority planner. So let's now start. Suppose that the, the distance here, setback distance, let's now take one meter as a setback distance. Mister Emir. No, let's take one and a half. One and a half meter as a setback distance. Emir. One and a half. A half. One and a half meter from the curb. Yes.
Okay. So now this is the building line. You have also to fix your string. This is a building the line where there is a distance from the load cover of the load and you are building remember never build in the float of the building line on this building line is where you can take the front view or the front face of your building remember we have a building of five five to four it means it is a rectangular shape building that you are going to set. Then you can put a peg that locate your peg that will locate your face of the building from here. Now this is the first peg that will show you that will show you. the face of your building, peg one. Your peg must set vertically. This is peg one, which will show you the face tape measure. The face of you are the front face of you are building. Because we have tape measure, which starts from. From one meter. Let's start here because zero was uh, not there. Yes, put take there. Take that, please. It means because I start from zero, then I will, I start from one, I will remember six in order to get any. In order to gain it, five. Now six is there. Now six is there. No problem. It's enough. So, nail, no, take the tape measure, only one meter. You see that this is six, but it means easy five. Now you have the front, the front face or front view of your, the front view of your building. Let's now set a light angle. 
using 345 uh, method. On the front face, you have to measure four, four meter. Peg. Four, in four meter. Four, four unit. Yes, four unit here. Yes. Four. Let's come here. Go there. Four unit. No, I have it. Four unit is this. But on that string. Yes, four is there. We have now driven this peg simply. So it means. This is this is four unit four on that night. Then also you need to measure now on the other face three. There. Three, but in order to gain a, in order to gain a five, take step measure, this step measure, in order to gain a five, me, no, go and bring it. No, there. Three. When we measure five with three, yes, here where three and five meet, it is now where there is a light angle. If you consider this shape, you see that there is a light angle. You see that here there is a light angle because this is three, four, five. Now it is a light angle using three, four, five uh, method. It means it is there where you must put your peg. Where five uh, meet with a three. It is now where there is a light angle. If you don't agree, you can check. You can check. We have a building square. 345 is a good method for measuring or setting a light angle. Three, four, five. Yes. 
What is all ma? Let now let now verify after fixing. Come here. Enough, enough, enough. Go there and verify. They are diagonal of five. Five. Three, four, five. Here, I did not need. On this peg. It is it? Yes. Only one meter. Then. You have to check if three, four, five is there again. It mean it is there. Three, four, five is there. Three, four, five is there. See, the peg was set bad for longly. So you have to set it well. Like this. And this must pass here. On that peg. You can now verify again. Now there's a six, no, five and three. It is there. Good. It is now a light angle. If you don't ugly, this is three, four, five method, in order to check well a light angle, you can use a building square to check, but this is the best. Let's now check, you see there? You see that there is a light, there is a light angle. Light angle is there. You see there? So this method is correct. So now we have set three, no, three, four, five. And then from there you can set the other face of the building. Remember, we need to set a building of four, three, no, of four, five, and four. Then you have to measure. No, you have now to set another, another face or another light angle. It means now this peg is now unused. Also this. So. You go to measure another light angle. Again, you have to put here four. Four. Four is there. 
hammer. So, a big hammer, stone hammer. Remember, we are on the step of making second light angle. Second light angle. Nail. Second light angle. Where there is four. Four is there. Four is there. Then Another three, three and five. Remember, three and five. You have to measure three to five. Where three meet with five. There. Where three meet with five. Three meet with five. Three meet with five. Here is five. Then I need to measure three. Three. Three is there. Three will meet with five. Is there. Three meet with five there. So you must drive in a peg here. Drive a peg here, we are three meters with five. Now it is a light angle. This is a light angle there. Let's check again. Let's check again. See, then a five. And the three. Then I drive a night where there is a meeting point. Now, this is another light angle. So, let's Fix a string there. Let's fix a string. Come with a peg. On this, this peg will guide you where you will put another peg. Yes, no, yes, no. Inside, yes. It is there. Where there is a peg for building, setting out. Yes, so you have to fix another.
to fix another nail. With a guidance of four, three, four, five peg. See there? It is a good peg. It is like that. Now we fix there. You see if there is a free, if this you must fix it well. You must fix where you are, string or building line. And then, it means here, we have a front face, or front view, side view, and the other side view. Then you need to, to measure your back face. So, the back face now, remember, is equal to the front face. Go there. To see if it's equal to put no problem there. One. Remember this tape measure start with one. Yeah. The tape measure. So it means there is a, a parallel parallelogram. So we need to remove this parallelogram. Because to see if the first the front go there. No. Other peg, no. Yes. Now this is a six. No. Five. Yes, good. And then you will need also to check. Put it there. Put no, yes. If is six, there is a, a few meter, then a few centimeter. Then we have to measure also four. Where is the two measure? Remember, we have a building of four side of four. Remember, this is no longer used because the light angle is now set. Then, four, four is there. No problem. Start again. Take to measure four. Major four. This is four. Now this is four. Another four here. Is there? It's not. Until below the string. Yeah. 
below the string. Then four. Come with a nail. Four is there. Yes, good. And then? Where is the step major? Another four. Another four is there. Then, what do you mean? It means we remain with a rectangular shape. Now, let's remove another peg. Let's wait. This is now. Remember this is four pegs, three, four, five pegs. Now it is a useless. Yes. It is too small. Check another. You, if the, the string is too short, now you have to add another string. You have to check the diagonal if there is six. 6.4, you see, this is 6.4, go there, now, this is 6.4, so now this is a well-settled building, if the diagonal is equal, so after setting light angle of your building you need also to set the profile board the profile board which comes here and here in order to show the trench with if foundation with if uh, and the wall with if so the next session remember is about building square method with a profile. So the next you will see how to set the profile 
on your breeding.